Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 To rub, to rub the the soyim and the chitim, to take out the the um, shell of it. Can you just, can you just translate just the words? So melilas is the grain. No, melilas means you uh, you rub them. It's a verb. Not yeah, melilas is a verb, but melilas. What's melilas? I don't know. Okay. It's a good question. It's, it's melilas is things that could get. Because in the next halakha here, we're going to have these things which are... So melilis is not a grain. Melilis is something that you... So it's the, it's grain, all plus, the, it's the grain plus the, the, yeah, yeah. the cover. Yeah, melilis is... It's, not, it's, it's a husk, but it's when you when you do it... Like when you husk... When you, uh, I don't know how to say English. Melilis is the word that is the outcome of the moilin. Okay. Meaning... No. 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 Mylon is, 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 is the noun. No, Mylon needs to rub. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, and what do you rub? What do you rub together? Melilah is a is a is a term for all things that you rub. Right. Because it could be chitim, it could be sa'irim, it could be it could be not, it could be anything. So, it, and the property is is that it has oichel and some. Right. Right. Sa'irim. It has and it has a it has a husk to it. Has a has a shell to it. It's like shibole. It's, 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 it's like the whole shibole. Right. But melilois itself doesn't mean any type of grain. No. It's, it is something it's that you boil. With the with the. Something that you could they could be milo, It's called melilois. That's that's a that's a noun. Anything that could be mild. Okay. That's a noun. The is a noun. Yeah. yeah. Mildly is and a noun. What is the verb? So how you learn the lilas may have Shabbos? Someone had these things. It was it was it was already he already rubbed it before Shabbos. He already separated it before Shabbos. So now he didn't separate. He loosened it before Shabbos. Sorry, it wasn't separated. It's still together. How does English touch Malilas? He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't. That's food. Oh. Food peeled with peeled oh. food. Yeah, so that's what it is. Malilas is the, is a noun for something that you mail. So how you learn Malilas may have Shabbos? So now you have to separate it. It's already loosened, but it's not separated. Layinapib a knoin. You can't separate it with a knoin, which is a which is a the the says in parentheses, Klisha Roisha Echad Racha Vashani also come in Marziv. One side is thick, one side is thin. You put the kidneys into the wider end. The food goes out through the, through the thinner part. Is the, the is, isn't the cannon the, the thing that looks like uh, open with all the sand when you move it? No, no, that's an apple. That's an apple. It's a cone. That's an apple. A knight is like a cone. It's uh, like a funnel. It looks like a funnel. Yeah. You're and at the bottom, a bottom is like a, a smaller hole, and the oichel comes oh, out of it, the bean comes out of it. But the uh, husks stay inside and top. So that's called biter. It's not the way you do biter. It's special like a dark guy, but it's called biter. So lay an apple beknoin. The tamchoy is a is a kaira gadala, it's a big plate, it would spit it out and then separate it. For Lebish Tayada, that means you would throw it from one hand to the next. And this is the way you would the, the husks would fall out. All those stuff you can't tell, but not the achas bakal kaikai. You shake it with one hand, the that you could do, everything else you can't do, as it's there. And this is the Abanon, it's a Bayer Dikadin, they can't do such Bayer on, on Shabbos. It's Patra Avalasa, just like in the first Halacha. Patra Avalasa. Uh, All this is a Patra Avalasa, as long as you don't do it with the Napa itself, <laughs> then it's not a Chir Dera Isa. It's the it's not Derek Bayer. So, Simon Alaf already told us that we can't use one of these coins. Correct. So it's a Chir Shir. I, I don't know. I don't know. Not much what the chiddush is more over here. Chiddush is the same thing as sifalif. Sifalif says the way it's it's a drabana when you use these things. And right. usually Mr. Bruno would speak out why it's what's the chiddush over here. I don't think he does it. He doesn't. Right. Yeah, he doesn't. The, the difference here is a stayada maybe. That's what he's adding. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is adding a stayada. Yeah. How does I know what the chiddush is over here? Ain't sure it's a kashinin. Kashin is also a type of vegetable. <coughs> it's called weitze balaz. Weitze is, 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 uh, is wheat in, in English, in Hebrew. Weitz. 
there's wheat, wheat. but oh. I'm not sure it means wheat. Okay, I think it's sometimes a bean. Yeah, I think it's also sometimes a bean. You, you pour water over it that it sits in the water and then the psoilus separates from the oichel and now you can take out the oichel. So it's another way of doing boiler. You didn't do boiler with this in a nap of a kivra. You couldn't do it. You wouldn't separate it. So what you do is you put it into water and the water separates the, the, the peel or the, not the peel, the husk around it from the food itself. And you can't rub it with your hands in the water. That's a regular biter. You're not to just take this thing and put it into a sifter. Even though it happens to be it falls out, you're not doing it for that reason. You're putting it in just to store it there. And it happens to be when it's sitting in there, some of the is falls through the holes, and the oil stays on top. It's not a problem. Wouldn't the kibra be moksa because of moksa and the permission of malachta? So, uh, you're right, it's, but uh, klisha malachta lesi, you use a certain goof for the certain kama. Klisha malachta lesi, you're not even using the certain goof for the certain kama. You're using it with something. <coughs> you just can't move a kama to sell. Yeah. But if you're using it to store something in it, it's not, you're not using it for that. <coughs> So, so even even though it falls out there, the the, the, the coffin, it's not a problem, and it is mutter. Now, what's the case of kashinim? Let's see the the Mogav Ram first. Tess, Ein Shirin. Who are the names of Pseudos for Oichel Murovim? If you have this case of kashinim, is the thing around the fruit itself. It's the shell of the fruit itself. But who are the It's not the it's not the shell of the fruit. If, you, if there's offer or fall to the bottom, or she yachts the mala, or the psalis will go float on top, the going tevan, the iron sim, the tough confused, the chemash and the lashon rashi. The monk of Rome is basically saying that everything that you separating with the water, you put it in the water, and the water separates, it separates it. It's a regular boiler. It's also like a regular boiler. So, so if you look, that means, that means what, that if you're putting it into a bin, like a water... You put like it into a water bin, <laughs> and the so water separates it. So because that's the mice. That's the mice of water. You're, you're doing that. Yeah, you're doing what the mice. What does that mean? Is that because you're not doing anything? Maybe you would say that you're, it's happening in the No, because it's not a regular water. Regular water is you put it in the clean, it falls out, and the thing stays, stays up, or the opposite. Here, it's the water is separating. It's a different type of water than a regular water. So you separate through water. And this is a barometer rice or a barometer of So a pashless is a barometer of bonum. Pashless. Even though even though these things they may be darker to do it that way. Yeah. But it's not the regular barometer. Pashless is only the rabbonum. If you look in the mission bureau here, see if cotton cough tests. Hakashinin. Humaichel Bahim. Kashin is a food for animals. For who had dint a puchy adama, which is which is tails, chol kai gavna, la yitin aleim mayim, kadei la hostin ve afak ve afar maleim. You now let pour water on it in order to take out, take off the dirt from it. The bchad amayis potatoes. Yeah. So if you learn this mishnah brutally, we have a big chumro over here. You now let take a potato and wash it. Up. <coughs> you now let take. So again, uh, with all of these things. I'm assuming that if it's miyad, it's not a problem, or am I incorrect? Like, the whole issue here is if it's not miyad, because if it's miyad, what's the problem? No, because doing a bechli. Meaning, the wa- what's the kli here, the water? Yeah, the water is the kli. How else do you do it? Oh, that's a good question. How do you do it? No, no, well, yeah, like, I mean... You, you may not be able to do it. So, it says, the Bishop says over here, so what did the put here do? We for offer my lamb. You're not allowed to put water on it. Why not? If I'm doing a miyad, it should be mutter. How did the Mishnah Berurah get from shayrin, akashinim, which is soaking, to, to, to pouring water? Pouring. Because they're both doing the same act. Right, but there's a big no. difference between yeah. the two. Right. Why? 
Well, fair, you can say that. If you're soaking it, you're actually doing a mice of borer. Oh, you're washing it? You're washing it. I mean, that's not... That's not... Oh, it's your just intention. Your intention. You you're digging the garbage out of the... Your outcome eating. is the same. To me... Yes, to what's me, the difference? The, the, the difference to me is, if you... Let's say soaking it... Uh, sorry, if you're rinsing it under the tap, that's a real miyat. When you're doing sharing, you're waiting for the water to take an action. In other words, it's not going to happen instantaneously. You have to soak it. So you've been mechal to miyat and not miyat. You're saying that shayri is also that's not miyat. Right. Less than, than rinsing. Mm -hmm. I think there's another... Well, I'm going to make the same thing. There's two separate things we have to decide. One is, is there is this boy rare at all? Washing it off, so that, to yeah. that? Is it or is it not butter? So why is it different than putting it into uh, water? So that's one question, but then the other one is, if, even if it is, why yeah. can't the, the A to B from that you just do with Miyad? Yeah, so Miyad, the, the, from here to Mashmah, the Isra is they're doing a Bechli. Something you do, the, the Derech they do it always is awesome. Right. But so you're removing the Pesolas off of the uh, Ochal, so that now you can never do it in Miyad. Yeah, yeah, and also, right, here oh, we're yeah, doing here, the yeah. and the yeah. Right. If you put it in the water, the water from the, yeah, yeah. yeah, so that's also for, right, the the, 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 the Shari speak out of it. The reason why Kashinim is Osir, I should have spoken this out, you're right. The reason why Kashinim is Osir is because what you're doing is, you put it into the water, and even though it could be the food is going to the bottom and the Eichel is going to the top, the Psal is going to the top, that's called taking the Psal of the Eichel. If you're doing it simultaneously, taking apart the Eichel and the Pseudos, that has to do like Pseudos with the Eichel. It's only if you're taking out the Eichel from the Pseudos, then it's okay. So that's the same if you're washing it, let's say, under the tap. Oh, so if you wash under the tap, it's sure you ta you're right. taking the Pseudos off. You're taking right. it off, so that's yeah. also yeah. That's, 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 that's awesome. Awesome. Right. Yeah, yeah, that should be awesome. Right. Besides that, it's a clear, right? It's Pseudos with the Eichel. Right, so then it doesn't help. So, so Tapuchi Adama, right. when you're washing it off in the sink, it's also Pseudos with the Eichel. Right, so, so how do you do it? So that, back to square one. It's all called Pseudos with the Eichel. When you're holding the food, in Tapuch Adama, you're holding the food. You're taking the food out of the garbage. You are, you're knocking off the garbage with the water. Yeah, but the food is still in your hand. So, mm -hmm. so, so if, if, you, if you if you if you learn the Mishnah Bureau over here, it comes out anything to put anything that you have yeah. so it's a is a problem. You can't rinse it. Now, there's two there's two issues here with this. One big issue is, is that we know we learned before that you let it be kailif. You let it peel a vegetable on Shabbos, even though you're ta you're taking the psalis <coughs> from the eichel. We learned because there is taking out the, the, the psalis to get to the toich. You're moving the psalis to get to the inside. So it's not really called, I'm dealing with the psalis, I'm dealing with the oichel. How do I get to the oichel so by, by pushing? Form of their right, that's a form of getting to the oichel. You also <coughs> when you peel, you're also taking some of the good food with it. Yeah, if you do that. Yeah. Okay, well, that doesn't. You but when you, when you, oh, I mean, peel a uh, garlic. Peel a banana, but, uh, peel a banana, peel garlic, you peel onions. Not that we take good food with it. We peel the orange. Uh -huh. So, so we said the peeling is mutter. Even with, right? even with a cle. Not with a cle. Not with a cle. No, not with a cle. Not with a knife, maybe. Not with a potato peeler. That's a cle. I'm yuchel lechach. But peeling, we said, is mutter. Right? Because you, you're taking away the oichel. You're taking away the psalis to get to the oichel. It's, it's, it's to get to the toich with the lashon the morning of Rome in the beginning of the simon. Mm -hmm. That kolef is mutter. So why we're here is it a problem? So if you put it in the water, then it's not a problem. Because there you don't say I'm taking away the psalis to get to the oichel. You're putting it into mayim and it's separating it. Couldn't the difference be that it's in the in the fruit? <coughs> here, it's, it's mamish, it's mamish psalis. Okay, but we saw by fruit, by fruit, it's minachod, yeah. then you can do whatever you want. Right. You can even use a potato peel. Mm -hmm. But we came out there, it's not to have to minachod. Mm -hmm. By fruit, we're not going to be seven hundred. I know the awesome price skin that say that a fruit is called minachod, it's not called bayr of right. And we'll see where they get it from in the next seed for a second. We don't go with that. We hold that when you peel the fruit, it's called shnei minim. It's called shnei minim and it's called bayr. The hat there is, when you take away the peel to get to the inside, it's mutter. So over here, if you're taking away the outside to get to the inside, it would be mutter. But what are you doing? You're putting it in water, you're soaking it in water. Soaking it in water is not called taking away the peel to get to the inside. You put it into, as if you put it into a sifter, and it's separating the oikha of the If that's the case, rinsing it under water will be a bigger hat 
Because if, if you take the fruit and you put it on the water and you rinse it off, that's more like unless taking off the peel to get to the inside. Then maybe a hetter. The Moshe has a tshuva. It's a famous tshuva for the Moshe. Um, where is it? The tshuva for the is in Archaim Chelek Aleph Simak Kuf Kuf Hei. Could I see the tshuva inside? I didn't bring it with me, I might have bring it. But Moshe has a tshuva and it's not to all rinsing of fruit. It's not to rinse all fruit. He says a hetter because it's not called bayrur, it's called rechitza. It's called washing. It's not called bayrur. Only when you put it into the water and the water separates it, that may be called bayrur. But again, but potatoes, if you put it on, you are rinsing. It. Right, if you take potato and you put it on the water, the Moshe is matter. Yeah. He says it's called rechitza. So Moshe is matter all rinsing of fruits and vegetables. Uh, and and the vegetables, because fruit you, eat, you can eat right away. I mean, as opposed vegetables, you have to cook them. I mean, no, no, so you can eat. Then I mean, I mean, you're talking about something that you can eat raw. Yeah, yeah, you can eat raw. Okay. Yeah, otherwise, it's it Shabbos and smokes anyway. Right, right. right. Yeah. So you, anything you, you let it rinse, anything you want to eat at Shabbos. Right. The most is lashon is it's called rechitza. It's not called bayer. Even if there's lots of so, like, let's say for Even example, it's a, full, a carrot that's full of dirt. It doesn't make a difference. We're full of salt. It doesn't make a difference. The most says it's mutter because it's called rechitza. He says it's not different than when you have dishes that are dirty. And you wash the dishes, it's psoilus, and then there's a dish. So you let them wash off the psoilus. So you're washing off the psoilus, it's the, the, the psoilus from the oichel, which is the plate which you want to keep. So look in the shuvah, it's chelet aleph. Is he saying that it's still. Chelet aleph, simon kuf kof hei. It's good that you see it inside. It's not a big chuva. it's a gushmaka chuva. Is he saying that it's not boiler at all by rinsing it? So he says it's, yeah, it's not boiler, it's called mechitza. So then you could do that, you don't have to do it with miyad? Correct, mm-hmm. correct. According to Moshe's hetter, you don't have to do miyad. You could do, you could do before a suit if you want. It's not a dinner of, of miyad. So washing fruits and vegetables? And washing, vegetables. washing it, not peeling it. Right. Washing fruits and vegetables according to Moshe will come out, you don't need miyad. I'm pretty sure he comes out, you don't need miyad. So he's cholik with the uh, Mishnah Right. Right. Some, some people hold by the Mishnah Berurah. So, so they, they, they ask. They all ask from washing dishes. Mm-hmm. If I'm not mistaken, Kubik Chazanish is mechal between washing dishes and washing fruits and vegetables. And Kubik comes out of the Chumrah. Kubik Chazanish comes out of the Chumrah. I don't remember who comes out of the Chumrah. And he says that... Huh? I, I, in the, I have the safe, the Mishnah Berurah without the Mephorsh. He, he makes yeah. that difference by dishes and dirt. Yeah. He says it's different than when you have something that's a chil and he says that's not. Yeah, yeah. It could be from the chazanish. Oh, it could be from the I don't know who's from. I think the chazanish is mechalic. But the master, the velt goes with Ramosha. The Ramosha says the same thing as washing dishes. The same way you're allowed to wash dishes, you're allowed to wash fruits and vegetables. That's what Ramosha said. He says it's called rechitza, it's not called bayin. Washing it under the water, it's called rechitza. Now, I don't know if I'm just coming to argue in the Mishnah Bura. The Mishnah Bura says, you now take the Puchay Adama and pour water over it. I don't know if he means you're holding it in your hand and you're rinsing it up in the sink. It could be you're having a plate, a bunch of potatoes, and you're pouring water over it to separate it. That could be worse. That could be worse. Pouring water on top of potatoes that, are, that have uh, soilus in it is not called the Maisel Rechitza. It could be that's how you're separating it. When you hold it under the sink, then it's mutter. So look at Moshe, uh, you could... Uh, you where, could where is the Moshe? Kuf Chof Hei. Kuf Chof Hei? Yeah, yeah. Look inside, you know, some, some of you may learn a little differently. It may say it's only matter of miyad. I don't remember exactly how I... I, I think I came up with the Moshe Shuvah that it's mutter even for Lachaz Because it's not called Bayer, it's called Rechitza. And you don't have to come out to the hatter of peeling. If it would be like peeling, then you would have to have only miyad. Because peeling a, a vegetable is mutter. It's a biter that's mutter, we spoke out. Not that it's not biter. It's a biter that's mutter because I'm taking away the peel to get to the inside. That's like I'm, I'm dealing with the oichel now with the psoilus. And, and if you hold that way, so, so peeling has to be done right before the suda. Which ain't can wash it more from the dirt that's around it, and much calls it rechitza. It's called Reichet. It's not called Bayer Bechlal. If that's the case, it'll be Mut even not Miyad. Look inside the Shuvah. If you come out differently, let me know. It could be you'll come out from the Shuvah that it's only a hetter of Bayer and it has to be Miyad. So, so how would the Mishnah Burr hold by like, washing dishes? 
Everyone's masking the wash dishes. Everyone is allowed. Everyone's masking the wash dishes. That's that's what our is rise. So Allah later on, we'll see a lot of wash dishes on Shabbos. Yeah. If you need them. If you don't need them, maybe not, but if you need them, you're not, everyone's masking without a watch. Mm-hmm. What happened to Bayern? So that's what much that's what much is right. That's, that's that's called Wikitsa. It's not called Bayern. What about how would the mission were called by washing uh, fruits or vegetables? To eat miyad, but it's it's uh, you, there isn't any actual souls you can see. <coughs> so there, so, yeah, so there I think right. Any, so there, th- right. So there I think even the chazanish. There I think even according to the chazanish, should go mekel. Because it's not really you're not really. Uh, can't see you can't say anything. It's not really called the bone. Uh-huh. It's more that is more of a rechitza than a bone. Yeah, yeah. They haven't taken anything off. Uh-huh. Something you would see taking off. It's not called the bone. Fine. So that that'll be the chiluk. And you see, that's that's the chiluk more than a wash of fruits on Shabbos. Okay, Sif Tes Mishameres, which is a thing they used to sift the wines. We're not doing any fruit, any peeling of the fruits. What do you mean? That's I know the city is in the Papala. What does he say? So I, I, I didn't have a chance to look at yeah, his I don't know how he ends up getting into the whole, you know... What is it mean? Basically, basically, peeling fruits to Shiloh is... We hold peeling fruits is called... Butter. It's, 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 go, it's going... It's taking away the psalas to get to the Eichel. But it's a, it's a way that it's mutter. And now the Asam Paiskim, I think more like the... The, the, the Sfadi Paiskim. They hold that it's called Minechad. It's not even a Bayer. It's not even a bar. We spoke about this last week with the with the, with the bones from the fish. Right. Right. The Rishbru wrote down a shita that it's called min echad until you separate. It doesn't become to me and Therefore, there's no dinner bar. So I know the awesome person is going to say the same thing with peeling fruits and vegetables. That it's min echad and it's not bar. So you're not even going to use a potato peeler because you're not doing bar. The only time you're not allowed to use a potato peeler is to do bar with a kli amiyuchel But once it's not a, once it's not bar. Then if you use whatever you want. Only biter you can't do with a cleat that's meant for biter. But if I'm not doing biter, then you can do whatever you want. So that's where it comes to the question with the pota- using the potato peel. Mm-hmm. Is that what he says? That yeah, you get into the whole discussion yeah. about, yeah, about, let's say, apples in particular. Apples are different than... Because you're taking off some of the... Oh, it's edible peel. It's the difference between edible versus... Oh, edible, you mean edible peel yeah. is more of a cooler. I don't know, right. why, I don't know why he brings it okay, up but here. Yeah, 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 but it's, 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 it's later on. Yeah. But it's just, even, even edible peels. Even edible peels could be a problem. Promotion. Mm. 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 says it's a problem. Yeah. Edible peel is not different than we had before. That if you have shnei min oichlin and you want one of them, not the other one, so it becomes oichlin mm-hmm. amsayilus. If you have two things, which we're going to see now more and see if you're, if you have two things in front of you, right? Even a potato, uh, even an apple, you don't want the peel. So basically, what's happening now is the peel becomes the amsayilus, even though it's edible, because you don't want it. Right. Yeah, that's that's what Moshe's right. Yeah. The fact that you don't want it makes. Yeah. Even though you could eat the peel. Even though you could eat it. It's not different. It right. It's you not different than if you have a salad with with peppers inside, and you want to take out the peppers. Because you don't want to eat peppers. Because you don't want to eat the peppers. Mm-hmm. It's also the peppers, according to the Ramah for sure, right? The Ramah says, mm-hmm. In Sif Gimel, the Ramah says mm-hmm. that if you don't want one of them, the other one becomes a psalus. He spoke at. According to the Mechav, maybe not. They're both called Eichels, it's called sorting. But according to the Ramah, when you're taking away something you don't want, it automatically becomes a Psalus. So now it's called Bar Psalus with the So you may have a hetter by peeling because the same hetter by all peeling, because you're doing it to get to the inside, but it's still called Bar. So you want to use a Kliham and Yuchat you want to use a potato peeler, you can't use it. Right? These are the Klolim. We started off by it, I told you, that we listen to give the main column, and then because the place can go all different ways. Mm-hmm. But that's the question over here. We know one cloud, according to the Ashkenazim, the Ramah, holds anytime you don't want one thing, it becomes absurd. Right. And it's a regular buyer. If it's a regular buyer, then you can't use a clear mechalakach. You can't use a potato peel. So an apple, even though you could eat the peel, if you don't want the peel now, that's not different than peppers in the salad, and you're not allowed to go ahead and take it out with a clean. 
So you can't do it. That's a clear you can't do. So I, I, again, it's jumping, but a nut cracker you can use even though it's clean yuchel. A nut cracker is not peeling. The cracking the nuts, not death fish. Right. Isn't it called min minachad milan? That's part of the. No, we don't have. We don't use that of minachad. Mr. Ruby said down in, in the in, in the Bia Lach that we saw last week, I think it was. Yeah. So it's a long Bia Lach that, that at some point, and this is, is a sad that it's been echoed. <laughs> My say it comes out, it's called Shleimin. But Kim Yuchat the Kaf, it's only, not only for Boyer, right? And knows who's. Yeah. It's only a Boyer? It's mean, Boyer. Yeah, if you're doing Boyer. What are you doing? When you're cracking the nut, what are you doing? You're doing an Issa? Is it Issa to crack a nut on Shabbos? No. No Issa. So the iser, when we say uh, something is oser, uh, the kli is, is the miyuchah the kach, it has to be for an iser. For an iser, yeah. You now do boiru with the kli miyuchah the kach. Boiru is muta miyad, biyad, now with the kli. Right. right. So if you're cracking you're a nut... cracking a nut, you're saying that that's not... It's not boiru, so what are you doing? Cracking a nut, so you use whatever you want. There's no iser cracking the nut, the iser is after to separate it. So if you had carrots, you were clean, and you, all you want is to peel the carrots with a like a potato peeler right. to make like a garnish, you know, like those curly, uh, thin garnishes. So would it be much to use a potato peeler so that's a question to, really. to make a... That, to, that's like a you're, using, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're for sure have gotten rid of the border. Right, so that's another question. Now, people use it. Peeler. People use potato peelers right. today also when they, when they put like chocolate yeah, on top shaving, of something. Yeah, shaving. Shavings. Yeah, yeah. Shaving. Right. Shavings. Yeah. Shavings. So, Pasha should be able to even with a potato peeler, because you're not doing boiling. Right. right. You're not doing boiling. It's only so boiling. You have a dinner of muktza. No, it's klisha malachta leisa, maybe. But klisha malachta leisa, it's not a good for you to use it. But klisha malachta leisa, you want to use a hammer to crack open a nut. Mm -hmm. Hammers are klisha malachta leisa. You're not going to use a hammer to crack open a nut. So, if you want to use a potato peeler just to do shavings, it should be muktza. Because you're not doing boiling. But if you don't... Issue of or anything like that. No, it's not boiling. It's not boiling. Yeah. Really yeah, that's a cloud. If something is not boiling, you can do whatever you want. If it's boiling, you have issues. Fine. Steve Tess. Mishmeres, I feel a flu in Erev Shabbos. And Mishmeres, even though it's, 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 it was put on Erev Shabbos, Mishmeres is something that used to sift out the wine. From the shmorim of the wine, the how's the shmorim in English again? The, the east? No, 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 no. from the east is the dregs. Sediments, sediments, sediments. Yeah, yeah. 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 the is uh, too fancy for me. The shmorim I feel truly made of shabbos. It's hanging made of shabbos. Also, litin bush shmorim. You now that I put the shmorim inside of it, because it's a regular boiler. Avol bought the nasi bush shmorim erev shabbos. I put the shmorim in before shabbos. And it's already draining on Shabbos, which is mutter. Mutter litin alei mayim. You're not to pour water onto it. Kadei she yaksudu tzulim nazov. That the water will come through it, and it will come out. The water is clear water. You pour the water onto it, and what's going to happen is it's going to go through it, and it's going to be separated in the sifter. So it's going to become tzulim nazov. It's going to become clear water coming out. You may be pulling some of the sediments with you, some of the color with you. But that's mutter. Why is that mutter? Because pouring the water in it, I'm not doing boiling. The water doesn't have, I don't have to change the water, the water is fine. And the example they give for today, let's say, you have a drain. Right? You have a drain in your sink. Now let's say the drain will be boiling, there's garbage inside. If you pour water into it, what's happening is, the water doesn't go through and everything else will stay in the drain. It's not an issue, because the water doesn't have to be, you don't have to separate anything in the water. Just because you pour it into a clear and now, what's coming out is only the water, that's not called boiling. Because when you pour it in, it was clear, and it's coming out clear. In between, it got some garbage in it. It's not a problem. So that's a very practical question. So every sink has that's a correct. strainer. A sink has a so strainer. So you have a sink full of water and garbage in it. And you turn the strainer, strainer a little bit so the water should flow out, and all you have left in the strainer is now. So there would, dep so there would depend. If we pour into it with soilus and oil, and you want just the water to go down the strainer, then it's awesome. But the soilus in it before Shabbos. No, you're, you're, let's say Friday night you're, you're washing. No, that's something else. That's something else, because what you're pouring into the sink is water and garbage. And you don't want the garbage to go down. That's different. Here we're talking about there's garbage in the strainer before Shabbos. And you're just pouring water into the sink. 
We spoke uh, two weeks ago that, that the, the trees aren't such a problem because they're both toilets. So the shepherd says, so it's not a problem. But the, the problem is more, the sinks have, on the, the spout of the sinks, have a little net yeah. to keep all the rocks without little pieces of stuff inside. So now, if you're pouring water through in a Shabbos, if there's some rocks there before Shabbos, so you're doing better because the water's coming through, it's keeping those little stuff inside. So if the new water is coming in, has pieces in it, there may be better. But if there's old pieces in it, it's not a problem because you're pouring clean water into it, even though it's going through something that has in it garbage, doesn't make a difference. Because all you poured in was clean water, and what's coming out is also clean water. So don't, so don't clean your sink before Shabbos, is that right? Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, anyway, the, anyway, that person <laughs> mounted the sinks because they're both soilless. Right. They're not fixing anything. It's basically called sorting. Mm -hmm. So according to Ashkenazim, you have no problem, because there's no issue of sorting according to Ashkenazim. It's only one becomes absurd, and one becomes a Right. When you're sorting it, when, you, when you're putting it in the sink, they're both soilless. You don't need any of them. Right. According to us, the spider, they may have more of an issue because they hold sorting as a problem, like a sort of safe game on. So that's if test. So, so if you're pouring the water in, now here the Kiddush is, even if I put Africa pouring the water in to this Mishmeret, because I want the water to get some of the taste of the wine, it's still not. Because the water didn't have to be separated. The water was good the way it is. Okay, see if you're if it has two parts to it, I'll try to separate it. Yayin aymayim, shem tzlulim, if you have wine or water that's clear. So mutu l'sanam b'mishmeras. You let it pour into mishmeras because it's clear water already. Afa pishas l'mo, she yesh po'i k'slomim dakin, hoyul b'ru'yil l'shtais b'lafachi. Says the Mechavit. You let take wine and water and pour it into a sifter, mishmeres, even though it's boiling. You're keeping some pieces behind, you're keeping the ksumim, dakin, little pieces behind. It's mutter. Why is it mutter? You, let, you could drink the water without it, you could drink the wine without it. You may be making it better, it's still mutter. And the reason for this is it's not called boiling, because boiling means you're fixing something. If you remember we saw uh, the Bia Locha, the Yeshua Siyaka that says every time you're doing bar, it's a lock, it's a it's a davar shemulacha shein tzuka legufa, because you don't need what you're taking out. So you saw the the, the Yeshua Siyaka says that the the ma'aser bar is happening in the oichel. You're fixing up the oichel. If the oichel is fixed already, you can eat it. There's no din bar. That's what the machaber holds. So, so, so you're allowed to pour wine or water into mishmeres, even though there's pieces there. Why? Because it was edible, it was drinkable before you poured it in. So it's not called bayon. This is very negative. We have filters. People have filters for the water. Or like the Brita. Like the, the Brita, Brita. Yeah, the, Brita, the Brita filters. They filters for the water. You pour water into a filter on Shabbos. You have those pitchers with those filters. Yeah. So, according to Salacha, if you could drink the water without it, just doing it to make it better, <coughs> it's not a problem. So that's doing a chance. If you're doing it because of worms and bugs, whatever they worry about, that's where the problem is. You can't drink the water beforehand. Here we're talking about it's ruined to drink the water beforehand. If you look in the Mishaburu over here. So the people that have these filters in New York City because of the... Uh, the, the bugs, the that's bugs. a big problem. So the... Yeah, yeah Shabbos is a problem with those filters. Shabbos is a problem with those filters, yeah. The, the Brita filter right. says that it, it, it filters out iron and a whole bunch of the things right. that are in there. So it's still mutter. It's you. mutter because you drink the water without it. Mm. It's possible to drink the water without it. Even though it filters out all those things, it's still, it's still drinkable without it. And, and now if you look at the Mishra Bruno over here, he says, it's very important to see if you cut Lama Dalit. Mishra Bruno, see if you cut Lama Dalit. Mutter. What's called slulim? For most of the people. You may have some people that don't want to drink it that way. It doesn't make a difference. If most people drink it the way it is, 
That's not for bio anymore. How about tea? Like you seem to like, for example, tea, which is a little bit of leaves left left in there or something like that. You may you already made right. made, made, made the tea. So it depends. If most people drink it that way. It's not a problem. Right. Yeah. So most people. In New York, most people drink the water as it is without the filters. No, that's just <laughs> no, it's not. New York, it's a problem. No, but most people don't don't care about the problem. Yeah. It's bugs. It's bugs. Most people. Well, how many how many from Jews are there in New York compared to how many people that are in New York? Oh, no, no, oh, no, no. If it's an is, it's a problem. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let me If it's if it's an is, it's all the thing. You're not allowed to drink it that way. Uh huh. Even though going and drink it that way doesn't mean it doesn't, uh -huh. doesn't mean anything. If it's an issue, we're not allowed to drink it that way, then it's, it's cold by okay. Even the right people, the non-Jews who drink it, doesn't make a difference. Okay. So, so from Jews will not drink uh, tap water in New York? No, well, whatever. So, as soon as it's the machlag, so you have to worry about the bugs and that. Okay. Depends on which side you are. Okay. The question is, you'll have to tell somebody who's, who's not machlag in the bugs to filter it for you, that you can drink it. In Toronto is better than New York? Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. Sure. We don't have the same issues. Yeah, yeah. Tons are much better than New York, yeah, in the water. Now says the Mishnah Buravayta, V'yesh machmirim, V'davka kishakulom yichoylim lishto yishkach. Only when everybody can drink it that way. V'ein misaninen elo kadeshi yitzlulim b'yosin. Some people are machmir, that it has to be that everybody drinks it that way. Not right b'nei adam. All people could drink it this way, but you're still making it clearer. That means nobody. That means the machmirs basically say don't do it because you're always going to find somebody who won't drink it that way. Yeah, if you find one person, I, uh, I don't know if it is that way. But what if you what if you pour a pitcher full of water through a filter before Shabbos and then drink it up? No, that's fine. That's uh, yeah, you're filtering on Shabbos. Yeah. If you did it before Shabbos, that's fine. So Mr. Ruby said, "I'm a over here. If you have to have rabbi the other is enough, but you have to have cold in the other." Fine, but that's if you're pouring in yaim and mayim shem tzlulim, then you can put it through mashmeras. Ava with sudrim, sudrim is, is, a, is a handkerchief, awesome. So I'm missing a word over here. I'm missing a word. What does it say about you after that? Okay, so I'm missing the word mayim here. Okay, so he's just talking about mayim. Okay, I'm listening to mine. The old Shachar is not to remind me. I will assume him, but I assume the Mayim also. Mishum Libun. And the Elchab and the Boy never shops it. Okay. I will assume the Mayim also. Water is also. Mishum Libun. We are in Misham Ashkem Mutim. It's Mutim. Now, we'll, 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 let's speak about this issue for a few minutes and we'll go back to the Boy. There's a problem with Sirah Lev Simit Shin Beis. In Simit Shin Beis, the Loch is about washing things. Libun. Libun means to wash things. So as a machlaikis, if you take water and you just pour it onto a cloth, if that's called Libun or not, washing it or not. So it depends, big machlaikis over there, if the cloth has to be dirty or not. Shriyasai Zeo Kibusai is a lot of we'll see on Lunch and Bays. Soaking something in water, Zehu Kibusai, that is the washing of the cloth. Now the question is, does the cloth have to be dirty or not? So if you hold the cloth, it doesn't have to be dirty, then you're, not, you're never allowed to pour water onto a cloth on Shabbos, no matter what. If the cloth is dirty, then everyone holds you're not allowed to pour water onto it because Shriyasai Zehu Kibusai. So over here it says, "Av basudrin aser," and the sudi you're not allowed to do it for a different reason. The sudi you're not allowed to do it because it's a problem of kibbutz, of washing. If you look in the, let's see the Morgan Brahm in Aleph. I'll go through it quickly. We'll get back to you soon. Mishum libun, av mishmeres asuri lekach ve'en chayshu libunay. A mishmeres also has cloth in it. So why do you worry about libun? You're washing it. Because the Suri Lakach are not worried about the women. Tarkin. Keep it there, meaning since we say the Beged, Shri Yasa is Zehu Kibusai, just soaking it in water is ready kibus. Im Kane Mali Oslakach or any Osri. Who cares if it's meant for kibus or not? Once you soak it in water, what's kibus? Kibus is cleaning. Washing it. Okay. Cleaning, washing. So if you hold that pouring it is a problem of kibus of washing, then who cares if it's Osu the Kach or it's not Osu the Kach? 
The smart says something about schita. What, what, means, what it means over here is, is that we're going to hold, we'll see in a second, we're going to hold that way, that just pouring water on a clean cloth is not a problem of kvisa, of washing. It has to be a dirty cloth. If you pour water on a clean cloth, cloth is another issue. You may come to be it, to squeeze it out. You may come to squeeze out the water. That's only by a sudden. By a mishmeres, where it's not direct to do kibbutz with a mishmeres, or not that you're going to squeeze it out. Huh? Ah? A sud is a regular a handkerchief. Yeah. A mishmeres is, is, is a sifter. It happens to have cloth on the bottom of it, but it's, it's made into a sifter. So you don't use that. You don't, yeah, you don't use that for cleaning. But a sud that you use for cleaning. When you um, dry dishes on Shabbos, wet dishes. Yeah, it gets very wet. It, the, 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 the towel gets very wet. So see, it's a problem of uh, schita. You have to make sure it doesn't get too wet. But not all skippers? So, oh, so there we'll see. It's not a problem of kibbutz. Different reason. That's derech lichluch. Derech lichluch means I'm, I'm doing it. I'm pouring the water on in a way that it's not cleaning the towel. And the towel is being used for something else. We'll get to all that in Shin Beis. But that's, it's, it's, it's a complicated sugya of water and, and towels. And uh, if you pour water out of a towel itself, we'll see, we hold that Shriyasai loves the Hokibusai. It's not called cleaning unless the towel is dirty. If the towel is dirty, then it's a problem, even though you just pour the water on without schita. There's two issues. One's the issue of schita, and one is just pouring the water on it. So the Morgan problem starts over. If the problem is just pouring the water on it, what's the chote mishmeres and a, and a sudr? So he says, we're not going with that iser. He's busy smag. For the carpet bilibuna, person are worried that it should be clean, and therefore he doesn't care to squeeze it out. I'm going to pay him my time there. That's what the tour wants to say. The spirit like much because of the same as 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 the same the same the the it's not called kibbutz. So that's what we're going over here. Let's see if we're going. There is no dirt on the towel. There's no problem of kibbutz. So that's why just pouring the water onto the mishmeres is not a problem. The problem is chitah. No, but there is a the, m- 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 mishmeres. There is no chitah. So therefore we right. don't have to worry. For shkotah shem shekhanah for chem ashvah sif Now the oser shem yishchot. There's a problem you squeeze it out. They have a kibbutz. Right. And then if you squeeze it out, it's called kibbutz. L'chein, but also the kach like as we know, if it's if it's if it's meant for a mishmeres, we don't make a gzera. A mashkas and sevish and lamadal also lit the mayim without the water. How many nami shem yisrael? Only because of maybe you can squeeze it out. I have a kibbutz. I have a sham mashkin for other drinks. Shkita shall have any asura. There's no problem of shkita by other drinks. For example, wine. There's no kibbutz on it. Elam shem told the dosh. They should ain't malabim because they don't clean. Hamashkin. This mashkin don't clean. The lechein like as we don't shem yisrael. If you hold it, even though it's no lichluch, then pouring water is called kibbutz. But water will, will be awesome. So I want to very quickly, what the Magen Ram is saying here is that the Chilotim Mishmeres and the Sudim is we don't go with Shriyasei Zeo Kibbutzai where it's a clean cloth. Therefore, pouring water onto a clean cloth by itself is not a problem. The problem is only Shema Yishchot. You can squeeze it out. By Mishmeres, there's no problem Shema Yishchot. You're not going to squeeze it out. By a Sudr, by water, there is. By wine, other drinks, there's no problem Shema Yishchot. Isn't there a problem with dying? I mean, you're dying by seeing the handkerchief? Okay, no, well, we'll see why. Okay. We'll see why. It's interesting that if that's the case, yeah. the Shulchan Aruch says, Mayim Asr Mishim Libun. Why does it say Mayim Asr Mishim No, because Libun means because Yeah, it's like a yeah. roundabout way. Yeah, yeah. It would be way more like direct and clear to say Correct. Yeah, and that's not it's, it's also, No, it's not Shchita now. You shouldn't be some Shema. Shema Right, so, but the Isra is Libun. Yeah. Right, and that's not Libun is Kibbutz. Libun is Kibbutz. Yeah, Libun is make it white. 
Right. Yeah. So, that's and I'm saying the Magen Abram is saying that the Mechaber does not mean Libun here? No, Chaber means Libun with Shema The reason why it's so there, you can't pull water onto it, is because Shema Yitzchak. You may come to squeeze it out, which not is Libun. Which is Libun. Squeezing it out is Libun. So then, so what's he saying? He's saying that the shiras is, uh, Zekibusai is not? It's not a problem. Just pouring your water on itself is not a problem. So he comes up to the same... Is, is yeah, Shom Libun. He wants to know why is Mishmeras Mutri. Mishmeras will be awesome. If you hold Shriyas to Zekibusai, then Mishmeras will be awesome. Because Mishmeras is a cloth, and you're pouring water onto it. But, the, but if you hold, the problem is only Schita, by Mishmeres, there's no problem of Sita. But that's the problem with Mishmeres and a Sudr. And by a Sudr also, it's only water that's a problem. Wine won't be a problem. So let's see, let's see the, the Mechaber again. Yayim and Mayim, Shem Slulin, Mutter Lasana and Mishmeres. Wine and water, you're allowed to pour into Mishmeres. There's no problem of Kibos. There's no problem of Boirir, because most people drink it. Most people, or according to Mishbru, second shita, all people drink it that way. But Mayim, is mutter to pour into a sudden. The im if it's dirty. Bain Mayim, Bain Yayin, also the Sananon, water and wine is also too sifted. Why? Because if it's a dirty water and you can't drink it, it's awesome. Now, what does Achurim mean? What does Achurim mean? So if you look in the. Not clear. If you look in the. Meaning it hasn't been cleaned yet, meaning it's still sitting with its sediments. Yeah, Achurim here means. Achurim Lagamri. This is something we have to speak out over here. We'll see in the Magavra speaks about it, the Mishmur speaks about it, that the Mechaber Shita is like this. In the Mishmeres, something that's meant for Boyer, you only let it pour something in that's Roy to Roy Ben Adam to drink. In a Sudr, which is not Derek to be Boyer in that, you're allowed to pour something in, even if Roy Ben Adam don't drink it. You still allowed to pour something in. It has to be achurim. Achurim means that nobody drinks it that way. That's what achurim means, right? The last chapter here is the yain v'sham mashkin mutir v'mehem achurim bein mayim bein yain also the salonam. Achurim says the taz. The taz speaks it out over here. Taz sifkon ches v'mehem achurim perish achurim legamri. It's totally dirty. No one could drink it. You can't drink it at all. Also, a full of a suder. The ain had to be suder like okor tzas. It's a little bit dirty. For after the mishtati hachi, it's possible to drink it that way. Umiu roiv inchi loy shasi le hachi. Most people don't drink it that way. It's still mutu with a suder. Still mutu with a suder. What happened has over here the first sheet. We'll get to the second sheet. The Rambam in a second. But as of now, we hold. Mishmeres, if it's for Roy Bin Adam, it has to be Roy Bin Adam drinking that way, then you're okay. A Sudr, you only now let it do it if nobody drinks the water that way. But if it's possible to drink it that way, even though Roy Bin Adam don't drink it that way, then you're not allowed to use, then you're still not allowed to use a Sudr. That's the Machab Rashid. We'll see the second Mishmeru doesn't pass on like the second one or like the first part of the Machab. That's the, that's the Mechaber. The Rambam says the Mechaber, the Mishmer is also full of Mayim V'yayim Flulim. In the Mishmer is everything is also. So the Rambam holds in the Mishmer is even though it's, everyone drinks it that way, it's clean, it's fine, you now they pour it in. There will be a Brita filter will be also according to the Rambam. Because even though everyone drinks it that way, it's still a Mishmer, it's a clear Mishmer, the Kaka can't use it. But fill it with Sudrin, Layatinu Ella Bitslulin. Only Bitslulin is Mutter. Now, why does it mean Ella Bitslulin? Says the Mokhan of Ramavi, according to the Rambam, Slulin means Slulin Lagamri. That most people drink it that way. Not like the Mokhan of Ramavi. Look at the Mokhan of Ramavi, Sifkan Yid Beis. Ula Rambam, says the Mokhan of Ramavi, Afilu Bitslulin, Loi Bachurim, Bitsarach Iyin. 
says the Mogan Avram. The Bachurim, if it's totally dirty, after the Svarah Rishayin Aser, even according to the first Svarah, it's Aser. For Nimrli, says the Mogan Avram, the Deya Rishayin Achurim Ksas Mutarim. If it's a little bit dirty, it's Mutar. For Sudir. Even the Efshal is Taisa Belavi Yachi. For Afa Bishu Roy Bini Odom and Shaysa Raisa, Machkot and Abbasaysa, Bisham Aram. For Turba Magamish, Bisham Rajbo. Shut the Boyim. Avo the Rambam, Osir. Mashke, Avlam Osir, according to Rambam, it's Osir. So here basically we have Machlaikis over here, there's two Machlaikis in between the, mach- the, the two Shitas and the Machaber. According to the first Shita, Mishmeres, it's Mutter, if it's right by the Adam drink it that way. Asudir, it's only Mutter, if it's not totally Akhar, but even if right by the Adam don't drink it that way, it's still Mutter. That's the machab- first Shita. Ula Rambam, Mishmeres is always Asir. And a sudi is only mutter if most people drink it that way. But if most people don't drink it that way, according to the Rambam, it will be Asir. And that's the way the Mishnah Paskins, he makes a split. Mishmeres, he says, we call it the first eater. Everything is mutter, as long as Raib bin Adam drink it that way. Sudi, he says it's only mutter also if Rabbi Bnei Adam drink it that way, like the Rambam. So it's not mechal between who does that? Mishnah Berurah. Look at the Mishnah Berurah. Sif Kot Membeis. The Ramaschal Loi Ba'achurim says the Mishnah Berurah. Hainu af Ba'achurim Ktsas. Even if it's a little bit dirty, so the Ilu Ba'achurim the Gamri hal af Harambam af hal af Dei Rishayna Aser Chanal Ubeze. Toiv lachor shadivay Rambam. In the Gaya Sudir says the Mishabur, it's a diet to be choshish shadivay Rambam, and therefore Mishabur is not going to be mechalik between a Mishmeret and a Sudir. So basically, according to the Mishabur, what's going to come out is if most people drink it that way, you're allowed to sift it. You're allowed to pour it into a burrito, most people drink it that way, it's fine. If most people don't drink it that way, then you're not allowed to do it even even, even, a, even a Sudir, even something that's not meant for boiling. That's the way Mishnah Baruch comes out. Let's, let's just finish up the Mechaber here. Now of the two filters, Mishmeris and Sudar, which is, which is the closest to what we have today? Mishmeris. The preacher is the Mishmeris. Mishmeris is the, is the British filter. Yeah, we don't use a Sudar really. You don't, you, we don't use something, especially for water. We don't use something to be buried that's not dark for that. So the examples that we used before, that there's Tuloyim in, inside the water, and then you put the uh, yeah, so, drink through that. So, so if, you have, if you have bugs in the water... Then you can't. And you want to put a sudder, some people do that. You don't take a regular, special, special um, a sifter. They take a piece of cloth, they tie, they tie it up to the sink. So according to, and according to the sutta is that no one drinks it that way. That's a churim. If you now let drinking because of the bugs, then it's a churim and it's awesome. awesome. So practically yeah. the, 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 the din of sudder doesn't really... Uh, doesn't really apply. Really the mishmeris that... Mishmeris. The brita filters is the main thing that we have today. If someone will drink it without it... If uh, most people drink it without it, will drink without it, then yeah. But that's with Rebbe and the Adam. If you're in the area, then Rebbe and the Adam don't drink it without it. The Chumash is also. If you're in a certain place so where the water is not now, good, so mo- for for Shabbos purposes, I mean, most people don't drink that water. Most, most people drink. Most people drink don't water. require right. Yeah, most people don't require brita brita water. Right. Correct. Okay. If you look in, if you look in the, this is a very important halacha. If you look in the, in the, be um, halacha over here. Hoyl Viruyin. It says to be a lacha, you see a small bit of lacha. It's on Kupman Bezam and Alas. Hoyl Viruyin. It's a small bit of lacha, it starts at the beginning of the line. Umishu Istinis. Someone's an Istinis, he's a Mephonic, you know, he's a. Particular. Huh? Particular? Particular, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He cannot drink the water the way it is. Even little pieces. After the entry like Kapti, even though most of the people are not marked with cloud, like Butler Daitai, but the day also have a boiler. Famous also. So if somebody is marked, he will not drink water from the sink. Either he'll drink bottled water or filtered water. He'll never drink water from the sink. 
for that per that person can't go ahead and do a and pour into a breach of filter on Shabbos. Mm -hmm. Even though Rebbe Adam are not makbid. If he's makbid totally, he'll never drink water like this, then for him it's awesome. He can't pour it in. Most bottled water comes from the tank originally. Yeah, don't, don't say that. Most bottled water, they, 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 they turn it sink in the kitchen, they fill yeah. it up, they sell it. No, no, besides the that, even from the fat, fat the spring. Uh, yeah. They start with bottled water, they start with tap water, and then they yeah. do different uh, processes. Yeah, yeah. It's all, it's all a money making thing. But, um, but if someone's makbid to drink only filtered water, he cannot filter on Shabbos. Could somebody else do it? He drinks from it, that's a different child. But he's not allowed to do it. Let's just finish up the Mechav. I'm going to speak of one more thing here, a very important thing. The Mechav says like this, V'yayin megitoi, yayin, which is grape juice, basically, when it's first squeezed, cold matcha with toysis, imperish and niri with kersech, it's still like bubbling. Toyinif chavis b'shmoreha, you can cover a chavis with a, with a, with a shmoreha, have a nice notei chasudim. Kitsu, you could do bayin. And the reason is because Yaya Megitoi, everyone drank it the way it is. With the psalis inside, it wasn't a problem. So therefore, everyone agreed it's not called a bayin. That's the end of the sif. Now there's one big question of this sif, is basically what we spoke about this whole sif was, a is a mishmeras, or a sudr, but everyone agrees okay. that you're allowed to take out the ksumim, the little pieces from the wine. Which either, either if, if right people drink it, according to the Rambam, in a Sudr, or according to the Mechaber, the Mishmeres, if right people drink it. The question is, when you're taking out the Ksamim, you're doing Bayer, so this Mutafaycha. It's a regular Bayer, why is it Mutafaycha? That's the question. So what are you going to say? No, most people drink it that way, so it's not called a Bayer. We know, we had till now, you have Shnei Mili Eichlin, everyone eats it, you don't like the peppers, and you take out the peppers because you don't want it now, it's called Bayer. Why is this different? This is the big cash on the thief. This is a big cash on the thief. If you're going to hold that if you take out peppers from a salad, because you don't want it now, it's called Bayer, why is taking out the Ksomim not called Bayer? You take out the little pieces from the wine, even though you could drink the wine the way it is, you don't want those little pieces, now you're taking it out, why is it not called Bayer? This is a big kasha. Uh, the teal dove would ask the kasha. And is it, is it make, um, just, uh, just as a point, a point in mind, the some usually are at the actually the lack sediment, they're, they sink actually to the bottom. So you really what you could do is just put your cup in the thing and yeah. then you think. Yeah, but we're talking about here separating, pouring it through the spanners. I know, but, but no, but that's what I'm saying. You could yeah, potentially just put his cup you in could, the You could, but you could, you're right, but he's not, he's not doing that. Right. He was pouring it through the So what's the territory? Why is this different that every time you want it, you, you take the oichel from oichel, but you don't want the oichel, so it's called psalms from the oichel, it's also. Why is this different? Why do I pour it through a mishmeris? That's the big kasha of that kind of one, a huge kasha. So some kind of want to say because of this, the terrace is because the wine with the ksamim inside is minachad. That's the way it comes. So what I'm doing now is I'm separating minachad. So some kind of want to say. It's called cool Menechav, but the question that is, is that every fruit, pillaged fruit should be the same thing. Right. All pillaged fruit is Menechav, should be the same thing. Right, so the Asar, a person is going to say, arrive from the thief, that you peel an apple, it's not called Bayer, because it's Menechav. Why is it different than, than, than some of in the iron? And therefore they say, you're not using a potato peeler, to peel potatoes, to peel apples, because it's Menechav. But the Akhair don't go with that, they have a cash on the sieve. <coughs> what do you do with the pieces in the wine? Why? If it's min echad, why is it okay? So Shlaim is Amen is the one who tackles this question. And if I'm not mistaken, it is in Shemir Shabbos Kodchosos, could I look this up also? Yeah, I think it's Peri Gimel. Ois Kuf Nun Vav, I think it is. I'll tell you the second where it is. Let's check it out. Yeah, Shmir Shabbos called Chasa Per Gimel, Sif Cotton Kuf Nun Vav. They go, Tal Asla Kasha, Lil Asla Kasha. So, if Shlemus Amun says, is that there's no head to have been echad all the time. Because potato peels and, and apple peels is a double chasha b'fnei asma, his own chashivas. He says, Ksamim in the wine 
has no chashivas to it, it's nothing. It doesn't have any value to it at all. It's not, it's, 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 it's a, it doesn't, it's, it's not kind of Shem by itself. It doesn't have its own name. It's part of the wine. There it's called Minechot. But she came by tater pills and, and apple pills. Those things are called Shnei Minu. So it makes a chilim between this seat and all over that it's called, it's called Minechot. That's what Shlame is Amas Chilim. So when you learn the seat, you have to remember that it is if it is by the psalms with the oichel, you're pulling out the summer from the oichel. Why is it different than every shnei mini oichlin where you don't want it in its mutter? So look at him from He says this is a separate case. This is a case of miyuchid, separate than all other cases because the summer in the wine does not have a shem of neatzmoy. So you cannot be called bayer min min. But she came by everything else by peels. It is called bayer min min. I see this side. Okay.